Good morning everyone. Tesla has a new product. Elon Musk last night introduced the Cyber Whistle. The Tesla Cyber Whistle has been released per Elon Musk's Twitter profile. It's a stainless steel whistle that you can blow just like a regular whistle. It retails actually for $50. I think it's too expensive for a whistle on Tesla's online shop and all orders are final and it's already apparently out of stock. So Tesla has released the Cyber Whistle at $50 made out of stainless steel that you can blow like a regular whistle. Why is Tesla releasing this now? I think it means something important and isn't just a fun little gift without any me um, meaning. The following of a uh, the blowing of a whistle is a way to start off a race. It's also a way to signal to someone that they are in trouble or have committed some kind of a fool. I think the most likely situation for what is happening right now is that this is for Tesla being off to races, meaning that the Cybertruck, Tesla Cybertruck, will be starting sooner than we think, says Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team. That's why there is a whistle shaped like a Cybertruck truck. That's why it's called Cyber Whistle. Tesla has a habit of releasing specific products right before the launch of a new vehicle. On July 5th, 2020, if you remember, Tesla released its shorts products, uh, wearable shorts. A few months earlier, in March of 2020, Tesla released the Model Y. And in a few months after that, with the release of the shorts product. So Jeremy Johnson says, I believe Tesla released the shorts because it was a time Tesla Tesla was about to explode from a stock point of view and anyone uh, shorting Tesla stock was going to lose money. And actually, that's actually, I think that's what happened. The Cyber Wilson now is going to sell for $50. There are reports of people buying multiple of them and selling them on eBay for almost $400. You know, I wouldn't do that. There is no need to do that. So um, Elon Musk is actually going to be on the next earnings call. Uh, he said he is going to get on the next earnings call to discuss the product roadmap and to share some important announcements. Elon wouldn't be doing this unless there was some major change happening. Since we already know that the Model Y is going to be produced at Giga Berlin and Giga Texas, I think this means that we'll see the Cybertruck begin production much much sooner than late 2022, Elon Musk said that he will have a roadmap update during the earnings call. Now, could Tesla have been sandbagging in order to make it look like they were going to have to catch up to Rivian in order in other or others and other electric car makers? It's possible. Elon Musk is an expert in timing and living close to his supporters to know what is going to happen. Jeremy Johnson says, I think Elon Musk is going to have something to say about the Cybertruck on the next earnings call and he's going to say that it's going to start its production ramp on quarter one 2022 instead of quarter three of 2022 and this will be the biggest news of the year for Tesla but I think um, it also depends on Tesla's battery news where does the production of 40, 40, uh, 4680 battery starts uh, stands for now. Now, so what are your thoughts, friends? What do you think about the Cyber Whistle? Do you did you order one? How may, much are they going to sell for on eBay? Um, let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Give us thumbs up for this report if you found it informative and share in social media and uh, like this video and peace be with all of you. God bless you, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. Interesting news. Electric is reporting that Tesla's approach to using giant casting machines nicknamed Gigapress to make car bodies with just a few massive casted parts is catching on in the auto industry. Imagine what a big business will come to these companies that make the Gigapress. A Tesla supplier says that it is working with about half a dozen other automakers. That means about six automakers taking the same approach as Tesla. Over the last few years, Tesla has been heavily investing in casting and 
alloy technology to enable larger casting parts that have the capability to greater simplify manufacturing. The company acquired several units of the biggest casting machines in the world. They have been deployed at Tesla's factories in the United States, at Giga Berlin, and at Chi in China. Tesla has already been producing the Model Y with a single rare body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. Earlier this year, a picture of the first single front casting part of the Model Y produced at Gigafactory Texas leaked last month. We reported that Tesla produced the first Model Y with both front and back single piece casting and Electric also reported that the strategy to greatly reduce the number of pieces to make a car body results in a massive reduction in the complexity of the body line and the capital needed to build the production line. The problem with this is that, God forbid, if you have an accident, then what are you going to have? You can't replace just one part. You have to replace the whole thing. Maybe the car is totaled. It also brings weight advantage to the vehicle itself, which in turn can improve efficiency. However, it's not all advantage. Some people, like I said, in the industry have been critical of the cast uh, cost associated with the potential repair in the event of an accident. This is led to question this has led to questions whether tesla is leading a new way for the auto industry to build cars in the future or if it was a fool's errand but now it looks like some other car makers are willing to give it a shot especially in china the new york times published a report on liu xiong song an engineer behind lk technology a partner in tesla's casting technology liu said that he is working with six Chinese car makers to deploy similar casting technology as soon as next year. Here is what he said. In addition to Tesla, LK will supply similar giant casting machines to six Chinese companies by early 2022 as more car makers adopt Tesla's way of making cars, Mr. Liu said. So what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea to make cars cheaper but make repair costs potentially more expensive? What happens in the case of an accident? Now, the engineers suggest also that they might run into some issues. So what are those issues? He said, for all China's progress, it still has a long way to go. LK hopes to deliver the same type of of casting machines to many Chinese companies in the next two years. But some of those companies are struggling to find car designers of the types and talent that Tesla has um, a plenty. Without the designers, LK cannot deliver the machine. So this is the problem. It's important to have the talent and keep the talent. Aside from designs, other car makers might also run into some issues with materials. Tesla has long invested in materials science uh, to develop its own alloys to support such large casting parts. The car maker even partnered with SpaceX to share materials science talent to develop those alloys. Let me know your fr uh, friends, your thoughts. What do you think about this? Let, uh, write your comments in the comment section below. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Do you think this is a good idea? What do you think? Uh, I'll look forward to reading your comments. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. Please subscribe to our channel. Join our community. And I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's move on to our next Tesla story.